All right, got a brand new item, brand new today, and really an innovative concept. Uh, this is designed to be used in your automobile uh, when, when you're not driving. You know, after you've, you've picked the kids up at school or, or waiting to pick the kids up at school and you want to go ahead and, and get a little bit of work done or you're in a position where you're, you're sitting at work and, uh, <laughs> you know, I just learned I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. I'm fiddling with the product and then I couldn't talk. Couldn't talk. This is from Tech Theory. It's the adjustable cup holder car tray, uh, $24.96. I think this is brilliant. I would love when I'm, you know, in a, in a rush and I, and I stop at a fast food restaurant and I want to get something to eat. I'm not a big fan of eating in the car to begin with, and I don't like to eat when I drive. So oftentimes, what I'll do is I'll wind up going through the drive-thru and then going into a parking spot and sit there and eat real quick and then get back out on the road. This just pops in. Hold on a second. Okay, into every traditional cup holder. When this is twisted, it expands, it gets bigger. So you just adjust it one time, you pop it in, and then you've got uh, a locking mechanism and you can lock it in, and then this swivels, and you can bring it up and down. It's a brilliant little piece of technology. Smart idea. We've got it for you at a price of $24.96. Very first day we've ever had it presented. I want to bring in one of my high-tech experts. Uh, Craig Smith is a good buddy. He's been with us uh, forever, for years and years and years, and he's been bringing us really innovative stuff lately. Craig, welcome to the program. How are you, buddy? Doing great, Dan. Good to see you this morning. You talked about that. You run in, you get the fast food restaurant, yeah. or you go through the drive through and then you sit in your car, and you've got a couple cup holders, right? But you don't have any food holders built into the car. That's where the car tray really comes in handy. And you saw that short little video that I shot that was inside of my car. This is an adjustable eight and a quarter inch tray for you to put the sandwich somewhere or put your snack somewhere so it doesn't slide all over the passenger seat. And afterwards, you're not going, why are there a half dozen French fries sliding all over the, the floorboards and getting into the back seat? This is a way to hold those things. So when you do grab that quick lunch on the go, or if you're like me with my two daughters, I'm waiting for them to come out of a practice for this event, or they're waiting for them to come out of that event. I can actually have a place where I can keep my stuff in my car. So I'm not playing that game of, hey, maybe I can lean it up against the dash and my stuff will stay in the right place. No, now you know your stuff will stay in the right place. And it even has a built-in little notch here in the back nice. that's gonna be able to hold your phone for you as well. So if you wanna watch a couple silly videos while you're wasting those 15 minutes in your car waiting to pick somebody up, Car tray is going to be your new best friend. How, how did humanity survive before cell phones were invented? Uh, it was difficult. We yeah. read books. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> we did that too. Uh, neat mechanism again. Uh, just by twisting it, and it's got this little, it says lock and free on it. It's got a series of rubber edges. And you put it into your cup holder and you twist it. And then what it'll do is it'll lock into place. So you don't have to worry about it popping out just like that, I mean, that's in there. I can, I can pick up, well, I've got a heavy console here. But once you get it in and lock it in, it's set and ready to go. And, and then you still have some maneuverability on the tray and which way it goes, up, down, sideways, there's a lot, nozzle there. Uh, just little tiny contraptions that make your car more user friendly. Uh, I will say this, uh, people in Europe do not understand Americans in our cars. Uh, I had an opportunity, I was over in Germany quite a few years ago, uh, and I always wanted to drive on the Audubon, Craig, and I, I just thought it would be the coolest thing. And we were talking, and I asked the guy that I was with, where, where's the cup holder? And in very broken English with that, that harsh German accent, he goes, why would you need a cup holder in a car? <laughs> they don't eat in their cars. They don't drink in their cars. They don't do any of that stuff. We live in our cars from day to day when you're commuting and all the rest. This is going to be a neat little device, and I like that they did it at a price that's, that's reasonable, $24.86. We've got easy pay for you. It's brand new today. First time that I had ever seen it. Uh, they did a nice job on the engineering on this as well. The fact that the cup holder is pretty much standard size with every vehicle or SUV, this will work for just about everybody, won't it? It will. Actually, that adjustable piece on the bottom, Dan, allows you yes, to expand awesome. and minimize the size. So depending on what kind of car you have, this is going to work for almost every cup holder out there because obviously gmc is making their cup holders a little bit different than 
Acura might be making theirs. So no matter what kind of car you have, it's going to fit there in the cup holder. You have dual adjustment capabilities as the arm goes up, and you can really put it in the perfect position for you. So when you're sitting there in your car having that snack, your device is right in the perfect position with the tray there, and you can just sit back and relax and not play that game of, let me try to balance the cheeseburger on yeah, the dash. On your knee. It doesn't fall off. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a bad moment right there. All right. I've never asked you this question. Let's say you're going to go to any drive through what's, what's the favorite dipping sauce? What's the choice favorite, for you? Favorite dipping sauce? It has to be some kind of hot sauce. Okay. Yeah. I, I would agree with that. See, this is how we bond, Craig. My we, go-to is Old Bay. I'll put Old Bay on everything. <laughs> but that's not really a dipping sauce. I think Old Bay is my number one choice for everything. I think that's an East Coast thing. Growing up in Indiana, I had no idea what Old Bay was. I don't even eat seafood, and I'll put Old Bay on everything. I agree, too. Greg, have I a used to the Maryland, buddy. Love that old bit. <laughs> have, have a great day. Thanks for sharing it with the first time ever on the air. Brand new. Uh, we'll talk to you and see you very soon. Coming up from Amazon, I've got their 32 gig.